Hello and welcome back to English Idea. This is Rim Alam and today we'll have another 60 minute long practice test. But before I continue with my today's video, don't forget to give a like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I upload something new. So many of you have asked how you can give a full length practice test. Unfortunately, you can only give a full length practice test if and if Duolingo asks you like the way they have asked me. As you can see that there is a box underneath which says I agree to participate in the study and consent to Duolingo's collection, storage and use of spoken respon responses for the purpose listed above. Only if I agree with them, then only I will be able to give a full length practice test. If I do not agree with their condition, then I'll only be able to give a basic practice test which is about 15 to 30 minutes. Now before moving on with the video, I request everyone to please read what's on the screen.
Which teachers were you talking to? Which teachers were you talking to? Which teachers were you talking to? Tron, Tron. Aspire, Aspire. Misper, Misper. Prosperity, Prosperity. Grammatical, Grammatical. Dipterial, Dipterial. Grammatical, Grammatical, Grammatical. Conscience, Conscience. Grisminute, Gris, Grisminute, Grisminute. Stalmance, Stalmance. Tron, Tron. Aspire, Aspire. Misper, Misper. Prosperity, Prosperity. Grammatical, Grammatical, Grammatical. Dipterial, Dipterial. Conscience, Conscience. Grisminute, Grisminute. Stalmance, Stalmance, Stalmance.
the length of the paragraphs varies with short paragraphs intensifying the action it is a matter of conscience more than anything else It is a matter of conscience more than anything else. It is a matter of conscience more than anything else. The island is separated from the mainland by a narrow channel running through a swamp. Cheese makers usually cook the milk in large pots. Cheese makers usually cook the milk in large pots. Cheese makers usually cook the milk in large pots.
however the passive voice is legitimately used when identity of the actor or agent is irrelevant pressability pressability swiner swiner hectic hectic format format compensate 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 corruption corruption conscientious conscientious mighty mighty randlement randlement hectic hectic corruption corruption compensate compensate mighty mighty format format pressability pressability swiner swiner conscientious conscientious randlement randlement Techniques include dissection, microscopic examination of tissues, and chemical analysis of fluids. Techniques include dissection, microscopic examination of tissues, and chemical analysis of fluids. Techniques include dissection, microscopic examination of tissues, and chemical analysis of fluids. Recently, the experimental philosophy movement has sought to rephrase philosophical problems through social science research techniques.
Disfold. Disfold. Resistance. Resistance. Oh, crutch. Oh, crutch. Restant. Restant. Uncomfortful. Uncomfortful. Edic. Edic. Reassuring. Reassuring. Wimper. Wimper. Flatten. 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 Disfold. Disfold. Restant. Restant. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Wimper. Wimper. Oh, crutch. Oh, crutch. Edic. Edic. Flatten. Flatten. Resistance. Resistance. Reassuring. Reassuring. He looked at the people who looked at the pictures instead of at the pictures themselves. Roughly 14% of the population is of European ancestry. Roughly 14% of the population is of European ancestry. Roughly 14% of the population is of European ancestry. This syndrome is characterized by rapid rhythmic movements of lips so that it resembles a rabbit chewing. The vapor goes through the condenser and is removed from the system. The vapor goes through the condenser and is removed from the system. The vapor goes through the condenser and is removed from the system. Redderfis, redderfis, undeveloped, undeveloped. Vestified, vestified. Redderfis, redderfis, scruffy, scruffy. Intradition, intradition. Storentive, storentive. Upkeep, upkeep. Inherable, inherable, formidable, formidable. Scruffy. Inherable. Upkeep, upkeep. Redderfis, redderfis. Vestified, vestified, vestified. Intradition, intradition. Storentive, storentive. Inherable, inherable. Upkeep, upkeep. Vestified, vestified. Undeveloped, undeveloped. Scruffy, scruffy. Formidable, formidable.
Describe a famous historical figure from your home country. What are they known for? Do you admire them? Why or why not? Describe a famous historical figure from your home country. What are they known for? Do you admire them? Why or why not? Today I'm going to talk about uh, the most famous historical person from my country and uh, that is and he is uh, the father of my nation um, sheikh mujibur rahman he he is the one who founded uh, this country bangladesh he is the one who um, encouraged all the bengalis to fight for their right to not uh, you know accept the injustice that was taking place back in 1971 and uh, he is the one who you no know, he he wanted bangladesh to have uh, his, its independence so that's why he is famous and uh, indeed i admire him not only because he is the father of my nation but also because he was brave he was very brave to fight against the armies whereas bangladesh in 1971 had nothing you know uh, bangladesh was a very poor country back then but he he f- he he had the um, you know he 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 was at least brave enough to say that we will fight with whatever we have you know even if we have a, a stake we'll fight with it but we'll not stay quiet for the injustice that is taking place in our country so that is why i admire him a lot he was very brave um, he was a very good man this is a picture of uh, two people carrying around uh, a big bag of chilies i think um there is a lady behind them following them as they go carrying the bag and this picture is taken from um from the top so uh, that's why you can see uh, even the floors i think this picture uh, is taken in india um and i i i guess due to the dress i'm going to talk about a time when i was disappointed um that was actually uh, over a year ago that um when i got an offer letter to study uh, mbbs and i was expecting that you know my parents will be able to afford it and i'll be able to join in with my friends and uh, not only that but i'll also be able uh, to fulfill my dream my parents dream i will be uh, you know able to study mbbs and be a doctor but uh, however my parents uh, told me that they will not be able to afford it Uh, it was pretty tough for them to carry on i i still have a brother who is studying so it's not possible for them to you know carry on uh, with this and uh, what i learned from this experience was that you need money for everything without money even education is not possible um, sadly you know education is expensive education is uh, is, privil- is a privilege right in in this in 2022 if you are receiving um, education you should know that you are privileged you are blessed um, so yeah i learned that you need money you need to be rich to even have uh, education talk about a prominent person in your country's history talk about a prominent person in your country's history Talk about a prominent person in your country's history. I'm going to talk about um Sheikh Hasina. Uh, she is a prominent person of my country. She is uh, the president uh, the prime minister of my country. Right now she is the prime minister and she is a very good prime minister. for me this is my personal opinion um she's a good lady 
and not only that not only she is a prime minister but she's also a wife a mother a grandmother and she plays an amazing role in all these sectors um there were there was a little movie about her personal life they they, sh- they just showed a bit of her life and uh, you can tell that uh, you know uh, from like in in her house she is a a, a very normal person like any one of us you know and uh, she's a, she's a very brave person uh she lost her husband she lost her family entire family has been her entire family has been murdered uh, in 1975 i think and um, later after some years she lost her husband and she's still carrying on so uh, you know she, she's still carrying on she she is the prime minister of a country of a developing country so uh, i like her a lot i respect her a lot and i hope one day i get to meet her
a practical skill that I believe all the students should learn in school is giving CPR uh, or having um, basic first aid skill and I think this is very important because um, anytime anyway you can uh, you know either find somebody you love uh, your friends or family or any stranger on the road you can find them you know in need of giving a CPR or first aid uh, medical help and if you know it if a student knows it then you know they will be able to help the person you know who needs uh, who is in help of medical uh, need so that is why I, I think uh, you know they should learn this practical skill it's a very very important skill that should be learned in school when we are young um, and a good way to learn the skill uh, by yourself is uh, you know, there are always uh, th there are you know uh, uh, centers there are um, you know volunteering center centers where they teach how to give CPR uh, you can always go there and you know choose to learn this but I think the schools should take an initiative to teach their kids how to give CPR and uh, the fir basic first aid medical help. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope it was informative. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new content.